I'm Daryl Elliott Green. I'm a speaker. I talk on resilience, leadership, courageous conversations, and brave decisions. So when Tony Dell asked me to speak here on post-traumatic stress to you, intimidating. Let's wind the clock back 15 years. It was a shooting that shocked suburban Brisbane. Who was shot? Daryl Green. Daryl Green. Daryl Green. A man stood less than a metre away with a 22 rifle pointed at my face. He pulled the trigger. The bullet smashed him to the maxilla bone here. It fortunately deflected down hit my tongue and lodged in the back of my throat. The surgeon said if it was two centimetres higher, I'd be dead. The firearm experts at the academy said if he had not used a homemade silencer, I'd be dead. I was walking along the edge of a cliff. I'd never suffered depression before. I initially thought I was going mad. He fears worse is to come. I realised how close I was to being dead and it brought on the other things I thought. If Parade had had a more powerful rifle, if Parade had had a shotgun, uh, I wouldn't be here. In 2006, I agreed to speak for the first time on the shooting. The key turning point was when my boss, Inspector Dave Stevenson, said, hey, Greeny, I hear you're going to speak to the recruits on the shooting. Do you mind if I come along and listen in? I think it might help me make me a better boss for you. The feedback was so humbling. Absolutely inspirational. He didn't just talk about the problems in his life, he talked about the solutions and overcoming those adversities. It's just going to change people's lives. I want to help people be more resilient. I want to help people become great leaders. I want to help people break through with courageous conversations. I want to help people make brave decisions under stressful situations.